Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? The no-nonsense Benedict Hervides. A centre-back by trade, but he's shown the versatility to look comfortable at full-back too. An organiser and a fully paid-up member of the, uh, the commitment club. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. So off we go then. Krakowiak loses his balance and loses the ball. He's there to receive it. Chance! Goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. Zenit St. Petersburg have an early lead. Good start. Gel Mario. Well positioned to make that interception. Hoists it forward. Gel Mario. Gel Mario clips one through. Rakitsky tries to clear. And for a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Tries to get it forward quickly. Out to the right. Smolnikov. Here it comes. And he's there to cut it out. And it's played forward. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Oh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Well, he knew what he was taking on there, Peter, and special delivery from the ref. to win it back oh that's neat 
He gets past his man. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Smolov looks to clip it forward. Massive leap! He still well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Ah, oh, this was all about good movement in the box, just to allow him to get to it. Juba. He came in hard, very hard. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Smolov. Jean Mario. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Forward it goes. Well, that's where he wants it. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Rukitsky. Forward it goes. Krikoviak. Jao Mario, and the weighted pass, off has a pop! Chance to cross, and oh! And that's it for the first half, a breathless ending. Locomotive Moscow coming so close to levelling matters with the last action before the break. As it is, they... That's the start of the second half. 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Looking for space out wide. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. A really good feat. He's come loose. Hit into the middle, and he's cut it out. Gel Mario. Quarter of an hour into the second half. Your impression so far, Jim? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. Lack of accuracy. There has been just the early goal here, and it's 1-0. Tries to get it forward quickly. Juba. Locomotive Moscow are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Uh, it's not movement for the sake of it. Um, yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. A heavy challenge. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. 
And no surprise, that's a booking. Players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. needed a better contact well being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out a couple of changes then in quick succession Smolnikov this was gone that's a foul Balls come loose, and the chase is on. Just brushed off the ball there. Locomotive Moscow are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Strength too strong for his opponent. Looks to dink one in. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Balls out on the left now. And here's Shao Mario. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. Good ball. Has a pop! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Zenit St. Petersburg are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few... Towering header! Sticks it away! And that should do it! Within sight of the finish line! It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Zed at St. Petersburg could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Well, some fans are already on their way out, so that to me says everything, Peter. And it's Mario. And he's straight offside. Zed at St. Petersburg making consecutive changes here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so... It's no surprise. Floats one over. And that will be the final act. Zenit St. Petersburg have won it. As much industry as inspiration. Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. So what do you take away from it all, Jim?